What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So today's video is going to be a short tutorial showing you guys how to change the Linux kernel IO scheduler. Um, now why would you want to have to do this? Well if you're running a solid state drive which they're more and more common nowadays in, in PCs and more people are actually switching to them they're come they're becoming much more affordable and you know in terms of performance leaps and bounds better than um, your standard magnetic or mechanical drive. Um, you know, if you're using this particular hard drive, the completely fair scheduler or the CFQ, um, the I.O. schedule that's normally used and set by default of the Linux kernel, um, isn't optimally the best I.O. scheduler. There's way more overhead um, f with that particular scheduler you, on a solid state disk, um, and it's not optimal for performance. So. You know, you may want to change that. Now, your your option is to basically compile your own kernel, or you can simply change the I/O scheduler at boot. Now, I used to use a method um, where I would actually add an option. I would echo um, an option in the rc.local file. Um, but now that you know Arch and a lot of other these uh, of distros, including Manjaro, which I'm using, has switched to System D. The rc.local method doesn't work anymore. So I want to show you guys a method that I'm using now um, to add this option as a kernel parameter. So when your system boots, um, you boot with the Noop IO scheduler. Now, what's the difference between Noop and CFQ? Well, Noop is a FIFO or a first in, first out scheduler. So essentially, if you were to whittle it down to a really basic explanation, as um, reads happen, um, the, uh, the Noop IO scheduler um, completes them in order that they occur. Whereas the completely fair queuing, uh, queuing scheduler or the CFQ scheduler will take a look at all of the reads and assign them in order uh, of importance and then complete them that way. Um, again, on a solid state disk, without having to get into the, the real technical aspect of it, it's not optimal. Okay, so instead of having to recompile a whole kernel, we're actually just going to add an elevator parameter in um, uh, the kernel so that when it boots, it boots with the new bio scheduler. So how are we going to do that? Very, very simple. Now, I've got a couple of commands which I'm going to include in the video description below. But uh, if you want to figure out what um, IO scheduler you're currently running, just copy the command I have in the video, video description below and uh, in, in, a ter in a terminal, and it will tell you. So watch this in HD so you can actually see what I'm doing here. But if you were to just copy and paste that in, as you can see here, I'm using Noop, okay? And yours is probably gonna have brackets around CFQ. Now, what do we need to do to actually change this? It's pretty simple. You're gonna type in sudo nano forward slash Etsy forward slash um, default and then grub. Supply your password. And here is this particular file. So right here, we're looking for this line where it says grub, command line, Linux default equals, okay? And then on Manjaro, there's this particular option that normally would end here at the letter F and a, uh, the closing quotations there. So what you want to do is put a space right there, and you're going to add in this option, elevator equals noop. Put the closing quotes right there, okay? Once you do that, you're going to hit control X. Okay. I didn't make any changes, so there was nothing to save, but it's going to ask you to answer with a, a yes or a no as to whether or not you want to save it. You're going to hit enter. After that, it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite the file. You'll just hit enter again, and then you're all set. Now, you want to regenerate that particular uh, grub file the way that you're going to do this in Manjaro or Arch Linux. Very simple. Copy and paste this command into your terminal. Hit enter. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to do it as root. So sudo. And that's it. It's going to regenerate that grub file with your new option. That's an important piece. If you don't do that, it will not take effect. So regenerate the grub file there. And then the next time you reboot your computer and every subsequent reboot, your kernel now will mount with the um, elevator option, which is going to give you the noop IO scheduler as opposed to the CFQ. That's it, guys. Very, very simple, but it'll make a huge impact on performance. 
um, go ahead and actually run some benchmarks before you do this and after and see the IO read um, performance that you get when you switch it over to the new bio scheduler. It's, it's, it's a huge impact. So hope you guys like this tutorial and until next time, we'll talk to you later.